what I am going to be talking about is not just micro payment, but micro payment, micro investment, and regulated ICO. How I believe that it will change the world if we can make all that happen. You have heard all kinds of different applications. Uh, wow, that is supposed to be half an hour, but I'm going to make it brief because we are running out of time. So the way I see it is blockchain as the underpinning technology of digital currency or Bitcoin or whatever that currency is, has significant world-changing implications. And here the reason why. We have been talking about changing the world for a long, long time. We have been very wishful about it, especially those of you who came from foreign country. You would realize that there are a lot of things we could be wishing for here, but it's all talk. The real results are really not there because if you get outside of this country, if you are really from a poor family, if you have gone through all the difficulties that are happening in the developing world, you would realize that we are such a privileged country that we have so much that we take for granted. How is it can we change the world? I would say that Shatoshi Nakamoto, or whatever heck his name is, finally came up with a way so that we can do it. It means allowing anyone with an internet connection to be able to participate in it. And those of you who follow the cell phone technology would realize that the next generation of cell phone is going to reach probably as many as 90% of the world's population by 2027. That is huge. And why is the underpinning blockchain technology, the issuing of digital currency as an asset of value, being able to transfer to anyone between two parties without the participation of any central authority. Why is that so important? We may not realize it yet because technically what we are seeing, like in the case of Bitcoin and so on, the transaction cost is so high, okay? And as an industry, we have not done such a good job. Shatoshi's vision was to create digital cash to be able to replace fiat currency, to be able to do a better job than our financial institution, the banking system, the credit and debit card, okay, become more trustworthy, more reliable, more independent, take back our right. Guess what? I think as an industry, we have done a horrible job. We are doing a worse job than the banking industry, than the financial system that we are trying to replace. But do not give up hope, because even right here, listening to all the different people, we have a lot of things going on. Even though this is a very small group, you translate it to hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. That is massive. Why is it that I feel so convinced that our technology, given the time, given the trial and error, there are lots of good people, lots of smart people. God, Justin, Andre, I listen to you very carefully. Lots of great ideas, okay? Eventually what it is is those ideas will be trans translated in something that is practical, that's meaningful, that the whole world can participate. And if the next generation of cell phone technology using G5, which is supposedly to be 25 times faster than G4 LTE, 
Okay. It is extremely significant. It means we will see things that, would, that we would be able to do that we have never dreamed to be possible. We would be able to reach majority of the population in the world that we never dreamed possible. And all those things would now mean that how can they participate? How can they be given the opportunity, the equal opportunity to invest and to be able to monetize whatever they created? It could be a game. It could be some kind of application that can be monetized using micro payment. Micro payment as it is has serious problem because the currency itself, the digital currency, be it Bitcoin or whatever currency, is so unstable. By the time you actually get the money and want to spend it, it could be way less, worth less than half of what it's supposed to be. So stability of currency is going to be very important. The transaction fees got to be very, very efficient. It means it should be next to nothing. So that anyone who created an app or whatever, you want to be, to be able to let someone use it for a day, for 10 cents, for 25 cents, whatever the case may be, there is sufficient incentive of that amount of transaction being left so that people will want to spend their time and energy to develop that. Think of that happening all over the world, be they poor or whatever, it doesn't matter. But because the population is so huge, when you, when you make that kind of opportunity available to people, you, will, you can imagine what micropayment would do. The next subject I want to talk about is ICO. And I don't care what kind of name they, they call it. ICO, ITO, now they have a, a, another new one, DSO, which I just heard of. Many of you may not have heard of it. And there'll be more yet. DSO stands for Digital Stoken. Offering, amazing. We are very creative of acronym, but that alone will not solve the world's problem. Okay, we need to make sure that equal opportunity are being provided to anyone and, and everyone, anywhere in the world. When that happens, when our political leadership, representing the citizen, okay, can think globally, not just for my constituent for the people who vote for me. That would be the time to change the world. ICO is absolutely the best tool for any capital formation. And here are the reason why, okay? Those people who are from the venture capital world, one of the first things they would tell you when you try to negotiate funding from them is, what are my exit strategy? When the heck I can get out? They used to give you five years, seven years. Now they're thinking, can I cash out next year? Okay, that is not a long time. Why not open it up to the entire world? Let them invest $10, $100, $50, whatever the case may be. What our political leadership need to do is Think of it as any other form of funding. The world is changing. It's becoming one single place. We don't do it here. Other people will. But I have enough trust and confidence that given enough of you out there lobbying our political leaders, we will make it happen. It is not complicated. Why is SCC so concerned about ICO? is because they have no way, no way of being able to monitor who are the people who are responsible for it. There's no disclosure, okay, because they're dealing with a decentralized entity. In a decentralized entity, it's trustless. It's also leaderless. No one 
has sufficient interest to step forward and say, I am responsible. That's why the way d is doing it is we, you, we totally leave the, the currency itself to be decentralized. It has nothing to do with d global other than a cross ownership. And it will, at least for a period of time, until our leadership figure out how to deal with decentralized leaderless entity. We will need a real world for-profit company to provide that bridge and to be able to find all the disclosure statement reporting and what have you. So, God, I appreciate that you all have been so at attentive. I think this is great. This is beginning of something big and this is only the beginning. It will take a lot of hard work for a lot of people who are willing to push ourselves forward by following the right path. As I've said in my book, succeeding in business is really easy. Do the right thing at the right time, the right way. If you follow all that and you start building a trusted currency and be able to promote your project in a trusted, respected way, you will get there. Uh, I have one final statement to make, okay? It has taken us five long years, but Dinot's Global is one of the blockchain superstar in a series by NLTV. It's going to be showing in the next couple of months. The other thing that I'm very proud that our team has earned is we are just named by um, Silicon Review, which is one of the top high-tech magazines. d -Nots Global is named one of the 50 most trusted companies of the year. I thank you all for listening. Hopefully, you learn a few things. Okay, those of you who want to um, contact me, the best way is go to LinkedIn and request to connect with me. I'll be very happy to work with you and share any other knowledge that may be helpful. Thank you.